run. Just run. Hi guys, so I'm going to be doing daily questions from now on at the start of the video. Oh no, not daily. I don't do daily videos, do I? What am I talking about? I'm going to be doing... Right, we'll start that again. Hi guys, I'm going to be doing daily... No, not daily! Oh, right, okay. Hi guys, I'm going to be doing questions at the start of each video from now on. Uh, if you would like to participate, drop your answers in the comments section down below. So, what is one item you like reselling the most? Right then, is everyone ready? Yes, this is going to be a sales update as normal. It's very dark outside today because of the rain we've been having. It's currently the 14th of June. Yeah, 14th of June. Um, and it's, yeah, we've been in this week where it's just been terrible rain and uh, I've not got my two photography lights by the side of me so the green screen might look a little bit, might just be a little bit off. So I apologise if it is. Um, but with that being said, we will get on with this. It's not me you're here to see. It's the sales anyway. So yeah, first off this sale here, vintage large fish. I put salmon in the title. It kind of looks like it could be a salmon. I'm not sure. It could be anything really. Uh, but salmon shaped wooden uh, metal, sort of like a serving platter, I suppose sushi or something like that would go quite well in it. I'm not 100% sure, but I put parties, events in the title and stuff. And I watched this on for $39.99, which I wasn't really sure where to price it at, to be honest. Um, but I thought, you know what, I'm going to go what I consider to be fairly high, I suppose, at 40 quid, And uh, obviously, they're, they're the postage on it as well at $8.99. Um, I picked this up in an auction job lot. I think it was either just a 10 or £15 pound commission job lot. Came with a few other bits and bobs, as within any job lot, really. Um, so, yeah, this basically pays for the entire job lot and some. And, obviously, I've got other bits and bobs to sell. So, yeah, 39 99 for that one, plus my postage. Really, really happy with that there. So, next, we've got a Lego Ideas 21306 Big Bang Theory set penny. This was just for my personal collection. It doesn't... Well, it does owe me money, obviously, because I bought the set for myself, but obviously I'm not going to attribute a cost to it because it's just a personal sale, essentially. So yeah, twelve ninety nine on that one there, Lego Ideas, 21306, just one of the minifigs. I don't know what these minifigs are doing at the moment. I've not really been keeping too well up on the Lego market for the last four or five months, something like that. I really do need to jump back into it and really start to look in depth at some prices again and, and do a bit more research and get myself up to speed a little bit because I have lost a little bit of that connection and with Lego obviously it can be moving quite fast you've got to always be keeping up with the trends and stuff so yeah but that one went 12 99 so I was happy with that little sale there next something that you will have seen in a haul video not too long ago maybe a couple of weeks ago something like that uh, this Incredibles 2 Disney projection power kit this was brand new and sealed I mentioned on the video that I'll probably get 12 99 for it on eBay that's exactly what I got 12 99 plus my postage so that just go towards paying for the job lot Essentially, I'm pretty. I'll be very close to being in profit on that job lot after this sale. Uh, but the next sale from one of the items in that job lot will then take me into profit. So yeah, pretty happy with that. Nice, uh, nice little sale there. Nice, easy item. Uh, vintage pair of brass metal candlestick holders. These are 30 centimeters high. I always tag things like home decor and stuff like that onto these titles. I don't know whether it helps them sell, but these ones did go fairly quickly, probably only within a couple of weeks, something like that. So you can't really complain. So maybe it is something to, to do with that little tag in there. I'm not sure. $12.99 on those plus $3.49. Now, I used to price candlesticks at $9.95 plus my postage, but I've recently gone up a little bit because I think I've been, I wouldn't say I've been shooting myself in the foot, but I think that you can get a little bit more for them. So I'm going to try them at $12.99 for a while plus my postage. And if I can get, if I can maybe push more than that, maybe one time try $14.99, uh, then I will do that. I have heard from a few people, I don't know whether this is, there's any validity in this at all, but I have heard that brass is somewhat making a bit more of a comeback again. Prices are getting a little bit higher. I'm not sure, but I have heard it from a few people. These aren't resellers, though. These are... Oh, well, actually, there was one reseller who told me this, but 
the other couple of people who have heard it off are just family members and friends and stuff, so I don't know how valid that actually is. Um, but we'll see anyway. But as I say, twelve ninety nine plus my postage, happy with that. Got these in a job lot of candlesticks. I think I paid... Uh, well, it's a big job, a lot of brass, actually. It had lo loads of different brass in. It had about six or seven pairs of these candlesticks in. Uh, you know, bigger ones and smaller ones, all different sizes. I think it was a silver plate set in there as well. So... Yeah, I think I paid 25 plus commission, something like 20 or £25 plus commission from my last auction, my most recent auction. So yeah, pretty happy with that. Just a nice little sale there. Uh, next, we've got this vintage. I put 1960s in the title. I'm guessing that's probably around about right. Um, lemonade, summer punch... Uh, drinks, you know, glasses, jug, etc. Um, and I didn't get 26 99 for this. I had it up at that for quite a while. I might have even originally had it up at 30 quid because I thought this was quite nice, actually. I don't know. I think maybe on reflection, 30 quid might have been a little bit too much. We're just pushing it a little bit. But if you're not going to try, then, you know, you're not going to be able to get those higher numbers, are you? So you've at least got to try. Um, but, yeah, so I had it up for maybe 30, then I reduced down. And then someone sent me an offer through of maybe 15 quid or something. And then I counted with, I think maybe I first counted with 25 or something. And they came back at 20. And I thought to myself, I've had it for a long time. Let's just get it gone. I don't quite know how much it owes me. It was in an auction job lot. Probably doesn't owe me more than about £4 for the set. I can't see it being more than that. Um, but I really don't know which auction job it came in. It was ages and ages ago. Um, but yeah, 20 quid for that plus my postage. Nice little item. You know, you can see it there. It's quite nice. Um, and it is a shame I couldn't get a little bit more. Even if I could get 25, I would have been a bit happier. But yeah, that's the way it goes sometimes. Better to get a sale and get some money back in, especially from those older items. So next we've got his Vintage Royal Dalton series, Where the Hunting Man Collector's Plate. Again, something I showed in a haul video. I don't quite know when that haul video came out. Maybe it was a month ago, a month or more ago now. Um, but yeah, I mentioned that this one wasn't brilliant and I'm not going to get tons of money for it. And here you go, I got 12 99 for that plus my postage. I think this came in the £40 plus commission ceramics job lot, which I mentioned in the video, I should should be getting back about three £400 for that in sales. Um, so yeah, really happy with that little job lot. Um, so yeah, 12 99 plus my postage on that one. That one, if expressed as a... Uh, an individual cost of that job lot will have literally been a pound because there would have been, I think there was about 40 items of ceramics in that job lot, maybe 30 or 40, so it'll be maybe a pound or just over a pound as an individual cost, so pretty happy with that one there. Next, we've got this Doc 2 BBC character options sealed. Uh, this is Series 2, the Faceless Grandma from the Idiot's Lantern. 9 95 plus my postage. I got a load of these figures for £3 each, or loads of these sealed ones, and yeah, uh, you know, tenner plus some postage, probably get a fiver profit out of it, maybe six quid, something like that, probably, probably about fiver actually, um, so not huge money or anything like that, but still, nice little item, nice little sale, easy to list, easy to pack, all the rest of it, so yeah, can't really complain with that. Slow day at the car boot? Then you need the Ads Experience hoodie. This hoodie is guaranteed to get you the goods. Next, we've got these vintage wooden African animals carved figures. Now, I get a lot of these from the auctions. I get a lot of different ones. I get really, really nice ones. I get really ornate ones that have been carved really, really well. And then I get some more standard ones like these that are a little bit more roughly carved. Uh, you know, not as well done. And, you know, I just job lock them up where necessary. Maybe certain ones I'll do individually uh, if I think they're worth it. And you can see they're 12 99 plus my postage for them. They didn't take ages to go, maybe a few weeks. So I can't really complain with that. These just obviously go towards paying for the job lots. Um, I think one of the job lots that these came in, I got three boxes of random wooden figures and tween items and stuff for a tenner plus commission so it's you know just brilliant really the profit on on those job lots because there's just so much stuff in those job lots and even just this one sale i've almost cleared my money back so and there's loads of stuff to sell from those from those job lots so yeah it's really really good when you can get those uh, you know, tween items and wooden carved figures and stuff and get boxes of them for, for really, really cheap. You're, you're on to a winner and you're going to get some good profit out of it. 
yeah, okay, it might take a while for it all to sell through, but you are going to get some decent profit out of it. So, yeah, that's those. Next, oh, something I probably shot myself in the foot on, you know, that most weeks, once every couple of weeks, I say, I declare to you guys, oh, my God, I've shot myself in the foot on something. Yeah, this was this week's shooting myself in the foot. To be honest, it's still fine because I got I got a job lot, a very interesting job lot actually, of Jewish silver plate items. So there was, uh, what do we call, I don't know where, I've not listed it yet. Is it a Hanukkah or something? No, it's not Hanukkah because that, that's, um, that's the actual festival, isn't it, Hanukkah? But it was one of those candlesticks with loads of different, you know, loads of different offshoots on it. And they're all in a row like that. I don't know what they're called. I can't remember the name. I did know the name at some point, but I've just forgot it. But there was loads of different silver plate items in the job lot. No one wanted it at the auction. So it went for the maiden bid. The maiden bid at my auction house is unfortunately 10 quid. They don't go below that, which is very annoying. And I have expressed my frustration with that in the past on videos. So you end up having to pay £10 for whatever lot you get there. That's the absolute minimum. But to be to be honest, this auction house is a little bit higher quality. So most things, even you know, even if they're a really poor lot, they're worth going on at even, even a 10. But this was a pretty interesting lot, and I went on it a tenner, plus my commission, of course, so maybe 12, 13 quid, something like that. And uh, yeah, loads of different things in it. This was in there. I didn't know what to price it at. I couldn't see anything similar on completing solds, and I went for 29.99 plus my post and thought, I'm happy if I get that. Um, but something was telling me when I listed it, or I just, like after I'd listed it, I think that's going to go quick. I just had this weird feeling... And yeah, it went within a day, uh, probably maybe even within 12 hours. And uh, yeah, pretty ooh, not great because I'm thinking to myself, yeah, maybe I could have got like 50 quid for this. Maybe this was actually a pretty decent piece that I could have got 50 quid for it. So I've done enough talking about it, but I've not actually really said what it is. So it's like this little pedestal plate or pedestal bowl. And it's to commemorate a new synagogue uh, presented by to Mr. and Mrs. S, uh, S. Z. Fishman uh, on the occasion of their silver wedding uh, by the honorary officers and members. Now, this is what kind of made it interesting to me, but this is what also kind of put me off listing it for hire. Because when you get these engraved uh, items of silver plate or engraved items of any metalware, sometimes, or a lot of the time, it puts off a lot of buyers because they don't necessarily want to buy it because it's engraved. So then I think to myself, well... I've got to kind of factor that into the price. But then I also thought to myself, with this one, that engraving is actually pretty interesting, especially with it being uh, a new synagogue. That's quite interesting. So then I, f I was in the turmoil with myself. What should I price it at? Should I go high? Should I go low? And to be honest, I was thinking £30 was not really high, but it was, it was getting to that maybe top or end. But of course, maybe I was wrong and maybe I could have got maybe around 50 quid like I'm thinking now um, but yeah 29.99 plus my postage at the end of the day this pays for the job lot and some I'll be in profit on the job lot after this sale and I've got other, loads of other bits and bobs of silver plate from that job lot to sell so it's not really a huge loss it's just frustrating when you know or you really think or you really feel that you could have got £10, £20 extra on an item. It really does annoy me, but yeah, that's that. Um, so next, we've got this vintage pair of cut glass candlestick holders, table centerpiece, home decor. I was just filling up the title with random keywords there because I really didn't know what to put. Uh, I don't think these were anything incredibly special. I think they have a little line down the middle of them. Uh, where they've been kind of joined together. I don't know whether you're going to see that there. But that kind of signified to me that we weren't of brilliant quality. Um, but yeah, 19.99 still on those, plus my postage. Will have come in an auction job, but probably not a lot again. Maybe a couple of quid cost to me, something like that. And yeah, 20 quid plus my postage. Can't really go wrong on them. Uh, I don't know. I don't really know how I price these things, to be honest. I just whack them on at any old price and things like this tend to go yeah okay it might take a little while to go but I just whack them on and we go at some point and we sell and and I'm happy with it really so yeah that's those uh, I don't really do tons of glassware but uh, bits and bobs of glassware I do I do okay with it certain bits do uh, tend to sit for quite a while uh, other bits tend to go a little bit faster but yeah um, I do okay with certain bits of glassware next or finally actually 
was these vintage Eastern European hand-painted floral design gilt plates. Really, really lovely, this one. This one's like a cobalt blue, I suppose. It's got like a cobalt blue undergla underglaze. It's got this gilt working on it, and then it's got this really, really lovely hand-painted uh, floral sort of scent. I suppose it's a centerpiece of a plate. Um, but really, really lovely, that blue one. I really do like it. And then we've got that more grey one with the, the grey underglaze there, which, again, it's rather well, both actually really nice, but I prefer the cobalt one. I don't I don't know why, but, yeah, lovely, lovely little items. Um, really nice. 29 99 for them, so I was really happy with that. Uh, I don't know whether I could have got any more on them. It's unta uncharted territory a little bit for me with... Eastern European plates. I, I mentioned that in a whole video actually where I still don't quite know what I'm doing with them I don't quite know where to price them at. I don't quite know uh, Too much about them really so you know it, it's debatable I could have got a little bit more from but I'm still very very happy with 29.99 for those and again these were in that ceramic job lot that was the same as what was it? The, where, where was it? Oh, that Hunter's plate. Yeah, they, they were in the same ceramic job lot as this, the Hunting Man plate. Um, so, yeah, pretty happy with that. Again, goes towards paying for that job lot at the end of the day. So, pretty happy there. Uh, that is all the sales for today. There was actually 11 sales today, not 10, because I, there was one set. I think it was this one, actually, that I wanted to include. Uh, and I thought, but I don't want to take any of the other ones out. So, yeah, I just thought I'd do 11 today. So, that being said, thank you very much for watching, guys. Don't forget, if you haven't already, please do subscribe to the channel. If you liked the video, then please do give it a like. And, yeah, I will see you in the next one. So, see you very soon, guys. I'll give you what I got The alcohol of that is flowing wild So grab yourself a can of mine